Camp Yes I Can takes place at the Bay Cliff Health Camp, which is located on 170 acres along Lake Superior in the beautiful Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Camp Yes I Can is specifically designed for children with prosthetic limbs. The camp was created to help amputees ages 14 to 17 discover and believe that yes, I can do anything. Leaders in the prosthetic field provide a week-long opportunity where children can learn to use their prosthesis more fully and to try things they might not otherwise have the chance to. Simple things such as riding a bike, playing sports, and even sharpening a pencil are available and awaiting for the campers to try. The camp provides an opportunity for the children to meet new friends who have similar issues and challenges. Every child who attends learns that with their prosthesis there are no limits. Camp Yes I Can aims to build courageous, confident, and self-sufficient children who are able to live productive lives and believe that yes, I can do anything. Camp Yes I Can started eight years ago. It was um, a brainchild of an appointment with one of my youth. One of my patients that I was, we were at an appointment with a physician and he said, you know, it'd be really good to get these children all together. And that started the ball rolling. So we wrote up a proposal. We started a joint venture with Baycliffe. And as we were there trying to decide on a name, the thought that kept coming back to my mind was the kids were always saying, I can't do that. I can't do that. My leg won't let me do that. So my answer was always, yes, I can. Well, that was the brainchild of how, that's how the name came about, was yes, you can do anything you want to do. Um, once we decided on the name, one of the activities or things that we do at camp for the week is the children realize that they can do anything, but if they use the word can't, they, they get to sing for their meals, or actually after their meals, as just a reminder that, hey, that's not a really good word to use. It's not positive enough to encourage me to do things. Let's use the yes I can attitude and it'll get you through anything. Well, some of the, some of the things that they get to experience are kayaking, water skiing, rock climbing, mountain biking, camping, fishing, um, horseback riding, just about any activity that a young person would like to do. It's important for these kids to, to have this opportunity to meet other kids to know they're not alone and they're in their amputation and know that they can do anything they want. They have that opportunity here to grow, to be a, a more confident person, learn how to use their prosthesis better, and actually maybe even just learn what life's about. Many of the times the kids come in very quiet, very shy, unable to explain what happened to their body part, and they leave very joyful, very confident and really just excited about life. I can do things that I didn't know I could do. Um, you know, they might have maybe swung on a swing for the first time or gone camping for a first time, or sometimes it's as simple as turning a pencil sharpener and never having had that skill or technique. Every camper, we have them come in, we talk about what their goals are, what they might want to try. Um, we evaluate what their prosthesis, how it fits, how it functions, what they like about it, what they don't like about it, just so that we have a good feel of what they might be able to do and make sure that we don't have any problems during the week. Um, if they have any broken parts, occasionally they have broken feet or a strap that's not quite fixed, right? So we fix those and let them get on with life and just be a kid. One young camper came in not being able to dress herself and she was going into her teen years and her goal was to be able to do things independently. So we worked all through camp, teaching her how to button her shirt, teaching her how to put on her shoes and tie her shoes, wash her hair, brush her teeth. And at the end of camp, she went home. The following Monday, I got a phone call from her parents saying, what did you do to my daughter? I, she doesn't need her help anymore. This is awesome. So it, it, many times we get that phone call on Monday following camp. Baycliffe was actually opened in 1938 to help children with disabilities. It was um, started by Elba Morris. Uh, it houses around 200 campers for seven to eight weeks during the summer. They get therapy and they do just kid ac activities, They're camping, fishing, um, swimming, 
anything, anything a kid would want to do during the summer. This is 100% accessible camp. They have a pool that is walk-in on one end and uh, eight feet on the other. Um, it has a three-foot shallow end so that kids of all levels can use that pool. Um, they have a physical therapy and occupational therapy gym, which has multiple rooms for treatment. All the, the housing facilities are accessible, uh, roll-in showers. Um, they have bunk beds or one level bed, whatever, whichever is most appropriate for the child. All of their dining facilities are all accessible. Uh, we are served family style meals, so everyone learns to work on their table manners as well as passing food and just we're eating like a family and being a family. So it's, it's, a, it's really a place where they can be themselves and not have to worry about what's happening. The funding comes from the Philippus Foundation, grants that we've gotten from the communities, as well as others who have raised money because they've been so excited after being a counselor at camp that they've raised money for it. But the bulk of the money comes from Wright and Philippus and the Philippus Foundation. My favorite story so far this week is a young man who came into camp saying that he was absolutely petrified of the water. And today, he not only swam in the water with the life jacket, but then decided that he was comfortable enough to be able to take the life jacket off and try swimming. You know, it, it's, it's difficult for some people who are able-bodied to get in the water and swim, but when an amputee gets in there, in there it's a little more uncomfortable because they're not sure they can stand, although it's a very comfortable place once they, once they get there. And this young man today just broke down that barrier and said, I can do this. And he, he swam without his life jacket. Well, I would just tell him that, you know, there are lots of kids up here. The first day, the kids might be a little nervous, but typically after the first day, they're so busy and so excited to be with other kids that are like them. They just want to be here and have a great time. We have lots of activities. Um, we're more than welcome to have a parent come up and tour the facilities prior to, but once we start camp, the kids achieve much more when the parents aren't here. So we like to give them that opportunity to do that. And then at the end of camp, when the parents come back to see them, they are so excited to see them and show them what they've learned that um, everybody's excited. I've been coming for about six or seven years. Okay. I don't even remember like when my first year was. It was a long time ago. First I time. was kind of scared <laughs> to come. I was a little bit afraid. It was not scary at all and I loved it and there's a lot of awesome people. It's helped me become more independent, definitely, and it's helped me be more confident in myself. So I'm going to be a senior, so I'm about to graduate soon. I've always been okay at school, but I think I got more, like, outgoing and just, like, schooled more, and I became a better student, I think, because of it. Um, I plan to go to Eastern for English and either become an editor or a teacher for, like, high school or college. I love kayaking the most. It's awesome. It's so fun. And I also like just playing sports and seeing what I can do and stuff. I hang out with a lot of them outside of camp, so I just hung out with two of my friends like two weeks ago. So it's meant a lot because like just last night we were like, it's nice to have friends that know what you're going through and you can just have like discussions and stuff. So it's pretty great. I held a golf outing from where I'm from, St. Clair County area. And for the camp, just to, whether it be for them to be able to do another activity or campers come. I just wanted to be a part of something bigger than myself, so have an impact. It changed my life being here the way they are, so the, just the confidence they have and how happy and excited they are to come every year. So It gives the kids to, a chance to be around kids with similar disabilities and learn from each other, I would say. Learn from others that are in the same situation. Well, usually in the past years I've been a camper, but I've upgraded to counselor, and I've learned all the fun secrets of and benefits of being a counselor, so that's really fun. I think we decided it was seven years. It's been going on for seven years, and I was here since the very first day, so I've, I've got to groan with the camp as uh, years gone on. Well, I, I look forward to it every year. It's um, marked on my calendar. As soon as I go home, I look forward to next year. I think it's just such a great opportunity to get along with to get together with other kids that are just like you and just the experience, like if you go to a regular camp, you don't usually have discussions about leg problems or um, what's the latest like way to clean your leg or anything like that. So it's just, it has like a unique fun factor to it. Ever since coming to Camp Yes I Can, it's always helped boost your confidence a little bit. Just 
because just being with everyone around here, they're so comforting and just so supportive of everything, and they make sure that you accomplish the goals that you set at the beginning of the week. Well, we get up in the morning. Um, that's always a fun feat with me now being a counselor, making sure everyone gets up. And then we have um, flag, so we all get together and we say the Pledge of Allegiance for America. And uh, and then we all we have meals together, which is where we kind of discuss like things that we're gonna do today and things we're excited for. Like a lot of the campers talk about that. And um, our day-to-day -day activity is so different here. Like every day we, we have a new activity to look forward to, so that's really fun too. Um, and I think a thing that makes us a little different is that usually we fit in like physical therapy, which I don't think you'd find that as a normal <laughs> at an everyday camp. But um, then a lot of the activities are just um, things that would incorporate every so everyone can, can can get in and do it and that um everything everyone's able to do everything so that's what a lot of our activities are based around everyone's goals are different like some kids are they want to be able to make it to the top of the rock wall or some kids goals are like even like accepting themselves and so the goals range so differently um a lot of the times i remember my goal was just to be around um other kids and just to like since I'm from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, I'm from a small town, and so I, I never grew up with like kids running around like me. So one of my goals was just to like really accept myself for it and stuff like that, and to um, just realize that I wasn't alone in the world. And so I think that was that's a really big factor that um, comes into play here. Um, when I first got to camp, yes, I can. I was by myself, and then that opened me up to the world of the community of people with prosthetics. And so then I got more interested in doing other things um, in the disabled world. So that brought me to like the extremity games and then that kind of led me um, into like the skiing world and just like being more open with everything and stuff like that. So uh, I was on my high school ski team and then I was accepted to go to um, out to Breckenridge to train with the Paralympics and um, from then I've been hooked.